they're just around the corner here. Oh. 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 Dark Ops is without a doubt the most brutal game I've ever played, especially when going in solo. Dying can feel awful, but that also makes the wins feel that much better. Let's go! We all have these moments where everything lines up just right and to get into as many of these situations as possible, there is a couple of things we can try to remember to do. So in this video, I've got some of my best raids from the past few weeks along with some pointers that can hopefully help you out. Is he coming over here? I guess so. We take those. He was probably not alone though. Take another position here. What? Hello. Ah, oh, damn it. Couldn't hit the shot. Where did he go? Let's try and spook him with a nade. Maybe we can get him. Where did he go, man? Did he left? Oh, wait. Okay. We take those as well. If this guy out here had teammates, they could be coming around after that nade. Oh, someone is out there. There he is. There we go. Just make sure that no one else is out here. The MCX. Don't see a lot of those. Alright, still laying there. Guess it's safe enough then. Staying patient and securing the area after landing a kill can often put you in a good situation. Unless you are 100% sure that the guy was alone, hanging back rather than going into loot is always the best choice. Chances are there will be a teammate or a third party coming in. Sometimes you even need to consider leaving loot behind if it's in too bad of a spot. There's someone nearby here. I can never tell which floor they're on. Let's have a look. Painkiller. Let's go for it here. Seems clear down the hall. Two dead scaps there. Oh, we see some feet. That's such a hard shot. No, wait. I'm gonna go upstairs. Not dead yet. Wait, what's he doing? I got him. Alright, that was one. There's definitely more here. Clear in here. Down the hall. Oh, someone at the end here. Just goes forth again. That is super close. Okay. That's another. Oh, right there. Oh, we got him. The flashlight bugged me out there. I thought he was still alive. Okay. Not bad. 
think we've got another one at the other end still though. It was fighting down there. That was a miss. Try again. We're gonna push on this. Anyone else? Oh, this is the guy he was fighting. Alright, let's check out some loot. Sounds quiet over here. Let's grab my backpack. There it is. Alright, let's see what we can make room for. There's a lot of loot here. Flanking and changing your position is probably the most powerful tool you have as a solo player. It allows you to get the jump on your enemy most of the times, and in general there is just rarely anything to be gained from sitting in the same position after it has been revealed. It's easy to panic once the shooting begins, but if you see a safe route to reposition, you should always go for it. Someone just in there? I heard something. I should have re-peaked three times. He was so lucky he survived that. I should have re-peaked though. Are they pushed in yet? I'm trying to watch the flashlights. They're not in here yet. one guy down. We heard the second one. Still right there. We need to get a right hand peek here. Tried to pre fire that in the first shot. He was not ready for that. I don't even think he heard me coming this way around. What the? Okay. In the end, you're also going to need a lot of persistence, because dying in Tarkov is inevitable. You can watch all the guides on YouTube, but there is no way around the grind that it takes to get familiar with everything the game has to offer. More than anything, Tarkov is a game about knowledge in my opinion, and the more you know, the better off you will be. So get grinding, and if you still want to learn more, you can click here. Thank you for watching. That happened. Oh. Why did I stand still? What a right hand peak, bro.